Welcome back, welcome back to the channel that shows you the most useless information you probably didn't even care about, but you keep coming back for more, so there's something good. Today, we're talking about tensioners. So, this tensioner is starting to fail. It's uh, making some crazy noise when it's running, some squealing. A lot of times the squealing is coming from your belts. Uh, when they get glazed over and cracked, these ones aren't too bad. Uh, but you can see a color difference when they're really bad. Like, this one's been replaced. Uh, this one doesn't look like it's been replaced. Let's see if we get a closer look. Uh, so it's got some, uh, it's got some discoloration, but it doesn't have any cracks. I mean, realistically, these belts are still good. You can check tension on them nice and tight. There's uh, really no reason to replace them, but if I'm gonna do a tensioner, I'm gonna go ahead and do both belts anyway. That way we get them brand new. That's just uh, my thought process here. When these belts come off, you can go ahead and check these bearings and see if there's any movement. Well, obviously there's gonna be movement, uh, but any side to side free play at all. Kind of weird things I'm doing with my fingers. I'm just a freaking weirdo. Uh, you can check the bearing here, the bearing here, and just kind of see how they're going. There's really not a lot to it. There's three bolts, one here, here, and just on the back side. And the way to release them is this guy right here. And there's another one right there. Where is it? Right there on the back side. So I'll show you how to do that right now. So when it comes to loosening up that tensioner, I got myself a half inch bad boy right here. Another half inch, uh, six inch adapter. I got either a bolt or a pin, a guide pin, just to loosen up that tensioner to keep it loose so it doesn't uh, release its tension and go back. You'll see what I'm talking about right now. All right, first things first. I'm gonna take my pin here. And that's going to go right there on the back side. Uh, I can't really get a good picture. Alright, so, see that hole right there? This is going to move forward, and this pin is going to go through that hole. And the way this moves forward is by putting your ratchet into here. All right, so bear with me. I'm gonna go ahead and lock it. Oh, wrong way. We're gonna loosen this bad boy up. And we're gonna, we're gonna be very carefully feel around for that hole and put that pin through, all the way through. As you can see, it locks into place and it's not gonna let it loosen. We're gonna undo the belt from the uh, harmonic balancer there, take off our tool and then the belt can easily just come off like this and then you can wrap it around the fan around each fan blade or just cut it off completely whatever you want to do all right so we're gonna leave that pin in there uh, for the next one there's a couple of options you can go in from the back side or you can go in from the front side I like to go in through the front side Let's see if we can lower this bad boy so you can see what the hell I'm doing all right so there we are I like to go in from the, the front side here. All right. See where it's locked in right there? Just lock it in, and same thing. You're gonna put a pin through there, and it's gonna push this guy up and lock it into place. And it's gonna be just as low as this one. Showing some love. Oh shoot! Freaking cameraman, where is that guy? All right, get that pin right through there. Unblur. And he, oh, before you release, go ahead and just undo the belt. And you can take your tool out. And remember how the belt goes. Take a picture. Do whatever you got to do. And you can just undo the belt. All right. So as you can see, that's exactly where the pin goes. Both these are locked. Uh, when I was talking about checking these, we're checking for any side to side play. Oh, we're checking for any side to side play. I don't know if you can tell, but this one's got just a little bit of movement. 
and it's got a lot of scarring on here too and you can feel it as you swipe your finger across um, if you didn't feel it well then that wouldn't be so much of a big deal but since you can uh, the material is starting to come apart on this and the bearing is starting to give out so not very good this one's got just a little bit more play on it and the back one not too much that one's not the issue all right so either way there's three bolts one two and right there where my finger is and i take those all without a 16 or a 5 8 socket all right to get that unbolted of course i got my famous milwaukee here bad boy with my 16 millimeter wobble wobble makes everything better wobble wobble baby all right watch out for the fan you don't want to crack that sucker remember it's loose so you can put it wherever you want it and do the top you put these pins in. So leave the bolts on there. Take it all out together. All right, so here's a better view for you. So here's where the bolts are. One, two, and three. Here's where the pins go. As you can see with this top pin, it's being held by this pulley right here and this bottom pin. All right, let me flip it around for you in this bottom pin. It's being held on the back side by this pulley right here. Here are your, your springs. There's everything you need to see. So, just one big piece. Now we can take out the bolts. Oh, we can get our new one. These ones, there's no cores, so we just toss them. As for the belts, there's nothing special. I just grab both of them, put them over a fan blade, and I just keep spinning it until I get all the way around. Like I said, you could just cut it, make it easy, but this isn't hard either. Sometimes I get a little cut up on the balancer there, but they're out. Nothing special. Here's a part number for that belt tensioner. And here's a part number for both the belts. The actual fan belt itself and the alternator belt. As you can see, there was a design change with his alternator belt, a uh, softer material to kind of dampen out that noise. So it's really helpful. This one, I don't believe there was a design change. This one wasn't really making noise. It was always this guy. And since everybody loves an unboxing video, and it is almost Christmas, boy, it this bad boy up. So as you can see, this new one is just a little bit different. So this is the new style tensioner they have out. The old one was just as good, but this one they feel is a little bit better. So same mounting locations. Uh, it's just a little harder to loosen this guy up because it's hitting against the AC compressor. So this one's kind of a pain, but otherwise same general idea. And in case you're interested, this one came with a new kit for the bolts and actual pins to put in there, which is pretty impressive. They must have just started doing that because I don't remember that. The 
Okay, so these new bolts, they are for they are for a T50. So remember that when putting them on. So as you can see, it's interfering with the AC compressor. So it's kind of a pain. So I can't get it from the front side. I gotta get it from the back side. And I loosen this guy up to put the belt on. I can't get to with the gun unless you had an air ratchet. Alright, so once those are secured on, go ahead and get a torque wrench if you got one, and 44 foot pounds is the torque spec for those three bolts. So, now we can go ahead and get the pins in and get the belts on. Alright, so it came with these two pins. gonna go unless I get it down further. So the trick to get it out further, get a little pry bar in there. And then you can get the pin to go through up top. Take out the extension, take out the bar, 
So the short one actually went up here and the long one went over here. I'll put them back. So now we can get the belts on. Same routine, we wrap it around the fan and then we'll line it up. Okay. We are going to start with the alternator belt. If you're ever confused about how the belt goes back on, just go find a sister truck. Get another one just looks just like it. You might need two people to help get this on. Or you might be able to do it yourself. It's always easier with two, but that's never the case. So we'll figure this out together, huh? All right, so I know it's extremely hard to see what I'm doing here. Uh, we are going under our harmonic balancer there. We're going through the pulley, and then we're going up and over the uh, the water pump. And then we're gonna come under this pulley, and then we're gonna come over the AC compressor. We're gonna go down around this pulley, and we're gonna go under here and back under the balancer. Lined up and where it should be. So like I said, we're gonna go down, around, around, and this guy is gonna loop right under here. In order to do that, we're gonna have to relieve some tension again. check all the other ones make sure it's perfectly around that balancer make sure it's on here good we're gonna go around the other side make sure it's going around here make sure it's lined up perfectly on that balancer it's lined up perfectly on the ribs over here it's under that pulley so sometimes this won't be lined up good and you'll need someone else to Relieve pressure while you line this up. Now we can go ahead and remove the pin and take this off. So what do you think's next? That's right, coffee break. All right, now that we got that coffee break out of the way, you guys are motivated again. We'll get this fan belt, slide it around the fan just like we did the alternator belt so you can get it done pretty quick right so you can actually see what we're doing here all right we're gonna go from the top of the, the fan hub here we're gonna go under this pulley we're gonna wrap it around this tensioner pulley here and then all we're left with is that bottom piece, which is gonna go around the balancer there. All right, in order to do that, we have to relieve some tension on there and send it around. We're gonna pull out the pin. Make sure we're lined up. Take this out. So all we are is looping around there, going under the balancer, around the pulley, and around the pulley, and back up to the, the fan hub. So that's all it is. We're gonna do one more check, make sure everything's good, and then we can start the engine, and make sure nothing's wobbling around that everything's tight, that there are no issues. 
but that was it. There really wasn't much to it, right? If I could do that on a warranty, I believe it's 1.2 hours. So I mean, a little over an hour to do that. You can get it done in about 20 minutes if you're really pushing. Damn, look at that sky behind me. That is, that's like a green screen, huh? Like a fake greenery. Man, that is too beautiful for my ugly face. Hey, you guys got any questions? Let me know. Let me, let me get that feedback, all right? For the meantime, stay safe, stay grinding, and make that money out there.